We're currently enjoying a break here in Portugal and whilst I'm sure many of you like to avoid UK TV while travelling with Wimbledon and the Ashes, we like having the option to watch. So, to find out how you can get around problems like this when trying to view UK streaming services outside of the UK, keep watching and we'll show you how. Don't forget to check out our other videos on everything campervan and motorhome related, from solar to water, heating to gadgets, tyres to trips. If you like this video, please do hit the thumbs up. It really does help me to know what you like, and you can ask any questions or give feedback in the comments. If you want to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos, please hit the subscribe button and clicking the bell will give you a notification when a new video goes live. Finally, if you do decide to hit the thumbs down, it would be great if you could also leave a comment so I know what you didn't like. TV is not essential to us, so it wouldn't be the end of the world if we couldn't watch when we're travelling abroad. However, it is a nice thing to be able to do, whether it's to catch up on news or sports from back home, keep family members entertained or just to chill out. With the rise of streaming services from UK TV providers, access is easier than ever if you have a data connection, no longer having to mess around with a satellite dish. But what you may find is once outside of the UK, the services start to block access due to licensing agreements. This may just be it not streaming, or more commonly, you will get an error message. First, let's look at why this happens. When in the UK, the device you are using to view the streaming service is connecting to an internet service provider in the UK. So the service know you are in the UK, so allow you to watch. When you're outside the UK, often you will be using an internet service provider that is outside the UK, so the streaming service can tell from your IP address that you're outside the UK and therefore block access to their content. Now, if you're roaming using a UK data contract, you may find that some of the services do allow you to stream. This is because the traffic is routing through the UK APN set in your cellular device. We will look later at some cases where the services have been able to crack down on this, but if you're using either a foreign SIM card or connecting to Wi-Fi outside of the UK, then what can you do? Well, this is where a virtual private network or VPN helps. VPN also has other advantages that we'll talk about later, but to help us with our problem, what they do is pretty simple. When using a VPN, you can pick a server in whatever country the VPN service provides, and from the perspective of the streaming service you are using, it will look like you are in that country. Now you may ask, is this legal? Well, using a VPN to stream content, as I understand it, is legal, though it may go against the streaming service's terms of use. That said, some countries do have restrictions or outright bans on VPNs, so check that you're not breaking the law just by using it. China, Iran, Russia, Turkey and the UAE have heavily restricted use of VPNs, and some other countries like Belarus, Iraq, North Korea, Oman and Turkmenistan have passed laws that prohibit the use of VPNs entirely. The VPN service we've used very successfully for the past three years is ExpressVPN. It's our choice as it's so easy to set up. It has apps for iOS, Android, Fire Stick, Windows and Mac OS X. The service is fast and though the streaming services do try to block VPNs, we've never had an issue using it with any of the streaming services we use. I also mentioned that other advantages of a VPN and the key one is for security. If, like us, you regularly use Wi-Fi hotspots to reduce your data usage when abroad, then there is a real risk that the data you are sending through an un unencrypted hotspot can be intercepted. Since we do banking and other sensitive actions online, when we travel, this is a real risk. Using a VPN provides you with end-to-end -end encryption. ExpressVPN have not sponsored this video, but if you want to give it a try, you can use our referral code in the video notes to get 30 days totally free to try it out. And this is also helpful to us as we get 30 days free too. Let's take a look at how easy it is to use. For watching TV, we usually use a Fire Stick, which we have the ExpressVPN app on, and we simply select one of ExpressVPN's UK servers.
Once connected, we're then able to view content on any of the streaming services that were previously blocked. And as you can see here, it even works for subscription services like Now TV. As ExpressVPN has apps both for the iPad and iPhone and Android, you can also use it on your other devices. As I mentioned earlier, some of the services are getting smarter. Now TV, for example, on the iPhone app, if you're using a cellular connection, it may ask you to switch on location services, so giving away that you are outside of the UK. However, if the phone is connected by Wi-Fi, even if that is to a cellular router or Wi-Fi, the VPN will still work, as you can see here. Don't forget that using our referral code, which is in the video description, you can try out ExpressVPN for 30 days absolutely free. Thanks for watching our video, and as always, if you have any questions or feedback, please pop them in the comments below. If you find the video useful, please like, share, and consider subscribing.